The, uh, the boycott, disinvestment and sanction campaign is wrong, full stop. We, uh, first, let me just talk about my own uh, experience in trying to combat the, the, those that wish to boycott uh, Israel and those associated with Israel. When I was culture secretary, I told the Tricycle Theatre that it was wrong to ban the Jewish Film Festival. When I was business secretary, far from trying to boycott trade with Israel, we tried to boost it in every way that we can, and it's up 60% in the last five years. And now, as local government secretary, I instituted a ban on local councils, which is going through now, and if we're re-elected, we will make sure it's adopted, adopted and become statutory that stops local councils from joining in the boycott of any country, and of course, including Israel. Local councils cannot and should not have their own foreign policy. Now, when I announced that policy back in November of this last year, uh, the Labour spokesperson said, and I quote, town halls have a right to boycott. That was actually, in, so that was in last year, a quote from the Labour spokesman to the government's uh, policy. And Keir, I'm afraid it's just not right when you say the Labour Party does not support boycotts of Israel. It's just wrong and you are misleading these That's good people. It is not right. Let me quote well Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn has said, when asked about the BDS campaign, and he said, and I quote, I he said, BDS is part and parcel of a process to be adopted. And when he was asked about it again, he said, and I quote, I believe sanctions against Israel are an appropriate way of promoting the peace process. That's Labour's position, and if Labour were ever near power, they would boycott Israel. Uh, hold on one second.